Yeah. I'm just gonna have backup audio just in case. Just in case. Just in case. Okay. Guys, welcome back. Vlogmas? Okay, you see, you like what you see, okay? <laughs> what what do I even say? It's been <laughs> it's been a whole year and we're back for Vlogmas. Now, I'm not going to hold you. Vlogmas <laughs> December stressful. I simply don't know how to go about it, you know? Really managing my time ultra ultra closely to be able to get to even do this part. The first part day one, vlogmas day one, because I was strapped trying to edit my birthday vlog. If you haven't seen my birthday vlog, go watch it right now. Stop stop the cap right now. I'll have it in the description. I'll link it'll be somewhere. You'll find it. Peep the birthday vid. Really spent a lot of time <laughs> and a lot of love. Girl, having a job ain't a joke. <laughs> And I know that comes from such a privileged position. I'm not even holding you right now, but like, we're here. So, Vlogmas Day 1. How are we gonna go about it? Now, honestly, didn't have a plan. I was lucky to just get to here. Get to this. But now that we are here, I might as well tell you what I loosely thought was gonna happen. Committing to all days of Vlogmas... We gon' see. That's all I gotta say. We gon' see what he be. I don't know. I kind of wanted to like spin it back with a rant from last year's first day one vlogmas. What was I ranting about? I was ranting about trying to take pictures, really stand on business when it comes to really pursuing my passion and really getting enough content, filming enough, taking enough photos, taking enough videos to have like enough content to share you can have a dream and if you don't have the work to back it up what are you doing where's the content where do i find the time to even do all that girl i was gonna sit here as vlogmas day one just to rant about what exactly i don't know the eight billion things i've been trying to do lately i'm not gonna lie having a little bit of pocket change really changed some things okay like <laughs> i've really had to come to terms with like managing my my stress levels how long do i stay awake how long am i sleeping am i get am i exercising enough am i drinking enough water things like this matter not on some just like, oh, I can say I accomplished this certain task, this certain thing. No, these are things that I have to do to be able to manage to be the person I want to be. And it's kind of exhilarating and scary and fun and funny and inspiring, if I'm being completely honest. But at the same time, I'm constantly checking on, do I have enough energy for this? Will I be able to maintain vlogmas? I don't know. I don't even know. <laughs> but we go see. I mean, so far, everything has worked out in the way it was supposed to work out. My birthday vlog was a little bit late, but you can see it. If you're watching this, it's already out, so. And I do have some other things still in the making. There is a part of my birthday video that I'm going to extend to a different rumble video on like a whole different don't worry that is still being in the process i think i'm way behind on like editing videos for rumble i really just fell off the face of rumble <laughs> do with that information as you will as far as ranting i don't know like i could like rant like in general but so far so good like life has been good okay the amount of work i've been putting in for like the last year a year and a half has been so well worth it well-rounded i feel like i've gotten to this point i've gotten everything that i deserve really see it through really challenge myself really upgrade and uphold my word and standing on business it's coming it's coming but i have to be just as patient as this service of my existence has been providing for me i do not know everything i don't <laughs> i know i look like i do i know i look like i begin a lot done and i do because per 
And now that you did not. Anyways, um, things aren't perfect for me. And even in my ultimate dream world, dream life circumstance, things still wouldn't be perfect. Like, so I'm really entertaining the reality that I can have what I want. I just gotta stay on my own. I just gotta stand on real business. Like, it's your life. You you get to choose what you want to do for real. And the more I live, the more I get to see that in action. Really appreciate all the people who have gotten me here to this point and the experience that I've learned so far. I'm like grateful and thankful for a lot of people who have been in my life. Even people who are not currently in my life right now. I am madly grateful for like the experience to just even know these people. To even interact with these people. I'm like, yo, the impact you can have on others is crazy. Like, I know my existence matters. I just think, I don't be thinking that deeply onto how much my existence matters to others. I don't be thinking that deeply on how like, people be talking about me. People be talking <laughs> about me when I'm not around. And not in like a negative, like, people behind my back. Ah. Even then. <laughs> but even in the positive aspect, like, somebody told me, and I'm not gonna expose who this is. Somebody told me, she like talked to, about me to her therapist. It's not even like I can't say, like, I don't know why, like, no, babes. I could be very scary, Terry influential. To the point where I actually believe that I can and will be an influencer. Influencing. Because that's basically what I do. I basically do that in my real, person-to-person -person real life. If I could actually finance my life through the monetization of social media, influencing the world of media and person-to-person -person social contact, bro. <laughs> And don't get me wrong, I'm learning a lot. It's it's a lot. It's like reality meeting the highest standard of imagination, just living. It's incredible. I don't know if I ever talked about We Hearted. I don't know if it's like the application or the website or whatever it was. I was a big We Hearted stan. R.I.P. We Hearted. <laughs> No, like seriously, R.I.P. that John, cause that John like a huge part of my like teenagehood, tween-ish years. That was an important part of my life. That John simply does not exist anymore or it changed owners or whatever. They got too greedy and was like, we're not making enough money off this social platform. And then they just cut it off. We hearted, even though there's plenty of sources of social media, nothing was ever like eaten like we hearted was eaten. Okay? Only the real ones will really get that, will really truly understand. Like, I very fewly and far rarely found people who even knew what We Heart It was. Enough to even talk about, like, our We Heart It's and what collections we have and what our storyboard looks like. Like, don't play with it, Ryan Lee. Don't play with it, don't play with it, don't play with it. <laughs> Being in the current position I've been in, I ain't never been here before, but it definitely seems like this is my opportunity to do exactly what I want to do in the way in which I want to do it. Whether that means all my successes, whether that means all my failures, whether that means all my like trial and error period, like I'm ready for it. I'm here for it. Like to have the privilege to stress about Vlogmas. The type of stress that comes about of the end of November raging for December. To just completely commit to doing all that work, doing all that effort, and really having a good time. Really having fun with Vlogmas this time. I think I could do it. Like, I really think, like, if I really wanted to, I could. So, like, what's the difference of me just doing it? Even just Vlogmas, when I first, like, really committed to Vlogmas for real last year, that was, like, <laughs> the bulk of my videos for a while. Like, because I struggled with consistency and i still do like i'm not perfect but i still do aim for once a week at least like minimum like i said i was kind of behind on my birthday video because my birthday ran right in the weeks that like led up with enough time to still go to work and still hang out with family and still have time to relax i take relaxing so much seriously at this point like i should be better about my sleep but overall i really do think it's important to really focus on how much sleep you're getting really focus Focus on how much exercise I'm getting. Really focus on all these little bits and tasks throughout the day. I very much value them being done and being done correctly. Really recognizing that I'm not going to be Wonder Woman. But the better I can practice to struggle with the small things, the better access I'll have in the future to handling more things and more increasingly difficult things. Because, girl, I'm piecing it together. I'm looking at the Carfax. And it's looking like my dream life isn't going to be everything that I... <laughs> it's it's going to be realistic in the way that I exist. Manifesting it now in the way in which it does happen. 
greatly depends on how I get there. It's like I'm putting in the hard work for that once in a split second of pure luck. I want my hard work and dedication and continuous effort and love that I put into my craft to follow through with that and push me beyond that. I've had a lot more people take me a lot more serious as far as when it comes to my YouTube and having my YouTube channel. Like before, I was starting to pass it off as like this little thing that I do because I knew no one would get it. Like people in my family weren't really taking it serious. They thought I was just being like extra, like OD, like okay, Gen Z, lol. But now it's like, no, I'm really about this. And whether you want to make fun of me or not, the energy has shifted from people like genuinely being inspired by me in one way or another, whether they want to be like somewhat in the position that I am, people really are really looking at me to really see what I come about of this. And I'm excited too. Like, I'm excited for the future. I'm excited to see what this is going to be. What kind of things that I learned along the way that makes this even better. Makes this journey even more significant. I can't tell you how proud I am of myself for be really being on it. Just randomly committing one day. It, it had to be like, I want to I wanna say it was around my birthday, either a few days after my birthday last year. I really was like, you know what? I could if I wanted to. And I did want to. And I and I just kind of did. <laughs> and it wasn't perfect. It wasn't pretty. It wasn't easy. Like, I've definitely fallen off the horse multiple times. I've definitely, like, really been slacking on my channel sometimes. I've definitely really been prioritizing other things that I, I, I needed to prioritize. And learning is a part of the process. Do not be afraid to make the mistakes you need to understand and learn how to get past this part. And really just live in life blessfully living life <laughs> extravagantly having my own adventures this is this is just gonna be different it's gonna be a whole different year a whole different vlogmas a whole different experience and i'm glad that those of you who are joined in locked in and ready to go ready to see what it be for me hey i love you but at the same time it is what it is and i'm here for the long run see you when i'm famous bye